Today we're setting up the Nexus Go and 833 sound recording bag. First up is the Nexus Go's firmware update. It's a straightforward task, simply download the file onto a USB drive and plug it into the Nexus Go's back slot. After a few taps, the device initiates the update process and restarts once finished. You can purchase and download an expansion license from sounddevices.com. From there, transfer the key to a USB drive, insert the drive into the Nexus Go, and through the plug-in menu, you can activate the two additional tracks. With two license keys, the device can accommodate eight channels of wireless audio from the A10, A20, and A20 mini transmitters. To set up eight channels, I first have to update all of my transmitters. This is a drag and drop process, which begins the moment you eject the mini from your computer or tablet. I've also added two A20 transmitters to my kit, which will replace the A10s I've been using up until now. To update the A20 transmitters, download the latest firmware onto a micro SD card and slide it into the transmitter. You can activate the update process in the menu and then let it cycle. Once that's complete, connect it to the Nexus Go with the USB-C cable and it pairs. If you want to know the finer details of this product, head on over to the Sound Devices website and social media channels, where you can find detailed tutorials direct from the source. If you've made it this far and haven't liked or subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider doing both. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kyle Hutman, and this is Audio 412.